Hi, and welcome to this video about how to install Windows XP on a Mac. You need a few things for this, dem uh, for this uh, to work. For the first, you need a Mac, of course, and you need the application Bootcamp if you have Leopard. This will be pre-installed on your computer. Um, if you have Tiger, I'm sure you can find it somewhere around the internet. Try and use Google to search for it. It was Bootcamp. And I'll just try and spell it for you here, since I'm going to use this program in a minute. It is spelled like this. I think this one is a space. We'll look at this application in a few moments. Second thing you need is a genuine Windows XP disk and the uh, serial key for it, of course. If you have an old Windows XP CD uh, with only Service Pack 1 or no Service Pack uh, on it at all, uh, I suggest that you slipstream it with one of the newer uh, service packs. Uh, for those of you who don't know what it is, uh, slipstreaming is taking the Windows XP installation and integrating the service pack installation into that and, um, and that's called slipstreaming. So when you install Windows XP, the service pack will automatically be, automatically be, be installed without you noticing it. Um, and uh, you can find a lot of guides for that on the internet, but I'm going to give you an application that can do it for you. And the application is called Nlight. And you can find it here just by searching on Google Nlight and then go into nlightos.com. And uh, here you have the application Nlight, and uh, you can just download it from here. You can just click the download link over here and you can just start downloading it and the application will pretty much guide you through. When you're done, make sure you create a bootable ESO. If any one of you would like a demo of this, uh, please say and I will do one. You have to do this on Windows though, because this is not compatible on the Mac. So now let's get on to it. I'm going to load in the Bootcamp Assistant on my Mac here. And this is going to guide me through the installation. So I'll just click Continue. And now it asks me how large a partition do I want for Windows. Uh, this is only Windows XP, so I'm just going to give it 10 gigabytes of uh, room. Can't hit 10, can I? No, I'll just give it 11 gigabytes of memory. Uh, I'm sorry, of, of hard drive room. If you use Windows Vista, I will strongly recommend at least 20 gigabytes. If you have 30 or 40 gigabytes, I would strongly recommend you going all up there. You can use these buttons here to divide it equally or use just 32 gigabyte. Uh, when you use this, there is a little thing that you need to notice. There is two file systems with Windows you can use. There's one called FAT32 and NTFS. FAT32 can be read and written from Mac OS X, so if you are sitting in Mac OS X and you want to copy some music from your iTunes library over to Windows XP, you can do it from the Mac uh, partition, the Mac OS X operating system. Um, but if you use NTFS, you can only read, you can't write. I'm going to return to you. Now my computer are responding again. Uh, there is just one thing I forgot to mention. It is very important that you do not, and I repeat, do not perform any other tasks on your computer while you're partitioning your hard drive. Make sure to have all your applications closed so no one of them perform any tasks. So, now we are ready to start the installation. Notice that I have gotten a little boot camp icon out here. Uh, it says here that I have to install my Windows XP disk, so I'll do this. I have a Windows XP disk here that is just freshly slipstreamed with Service Pack 3. So, now my Mac is loading the disk and here it came. So now I'm going to have to click the Start Installation button, or I can quit and install later. And uh, before we get going, um, you can open your system preferences and click in the startup disk. In here, in the future, you will get uh, another partition called Windows XP or something where it actually tells you you have Windows here. And that's how you switch on the Mac to your Windows operating system. And when we get onto the Windows, I'll show you from there how you can reboot into Mac. 
Uh, I'll now quit my uh, video recording application and uh, get the video camera rolling and I'll show you how to install Windows XP. So, now the CD from Windows XP is done booting and uh, we'll just click enter to continue here. And uh, now we'll have the great license agreement, read it if you like, I don't right now. And now here is something important because uh, here we have all the partitions on the computer. You see, we have one called Bootcamp here. The partition that um, uh, Mac OS X makes is always called Bootcamp. It is very important that you just click Enter on it to install. You can, you must not delete it or anything like that. You, you have to press Enter. And note that you now get a lot of options to uh, format it here. Um, first time I installed Windows XP on my Mac, I forgot to format it, and uh, that won't work. You have to format it. But I'll use the FAT file system here so I can read and write files from my Mac OS X operating system over to the Mac, uh, onto Windows XP. So I'll just click quick and format and uh, now it just tells me that there might will be something on it, blah blah blah, enter. So now the partition is formatting and uh, from here on the Windows installation is quite forward, so we here you should be able to take care of yourself and just read the guides and the installation can't go wrong. Uh, when Windows XP is done installing, I'll return to you and show you how simple it is to install the drivers. I'll reboot the system and show you how to change back to the Mac operating system. So now Windows XP is started up. Uh, we can't use the eject button that we have on the keyboard, so we have to do it the manual way. We have to click the CD drive, click file, and click eject. And that should eject the CD, and no, we don't want to take that tour right now. So here is my Windows XP CD, that goes there, and now we take the first installation disk, uh, the first recovery disk from your Mac, or your Mac OS X Leopard disk. And you just pop it in, and it'll just take about 8 seconds to load. So now we have some auto run, perhaps, oh yeah, here it comes. And this little application will install all the drivers on the computer and uh, if you have a MacBook it will also install all the support for your touchpad and everything. And this installation is pretty much automated, it installs everything, your sound card, your graphics, everything. So you don't need to install anything um, uh, by its own, you can see Apple in, uh, built in Bluetooth, the iSET camera and now it just goes through the installation, so now I'll just complete this installation and reboot my Mac, and uh, when the Mac is rebooted into Windows XP once again, I'll show you how to make your Mac reboot as default into Mac OS X operating system. So now the computer is uh, started up again, and uh, we have all these windows. Um, I don't know exactly what this is, uh, let's find out. That's my external hard drive, you don't need to take care of that. Uh, this is a little bootcamp help that will show up first time you uh, run your Mac, uh, well, I'm sorry, run Windows on Mac, you'll just close that down. And now you can use Windows just as you can on your Mac, you have access to your wireless, you have access to your Bluetooth, you just have to find it in the control panel. And down here you have a little extra icon called bootcamp, right click it and choose reboot from Mac OS X and click OK. And now the Mac will restart and when it boots up again it will show the Apple on the screen, the wheel will start spinning and you'll see your Macintosh login screen. So that was it for this demonstration of how to install Windows XP on your Mac and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.